An official welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't done a proper hello, but yes, we are on to the May Ultimate Girls Weekend away. So I met the 24 girls last night, beautiful and humble and awesome. I can just tell I'm gonna connect and click and have so much fun with all of them. So I trained them this morning as you guys would have seen, and now today we've got three seminars. So myself, Moira and um, Levi, then we have lunch and then we have an Esme little event with face masks and fruit platters and just like a girly afternoon together. And then they have vision boards tonight and dinner with Levi. I'm actually going to be going to see, well Nick's coming over tonight um, with all of our crew and I haven't seen Nick in so long so I'm really excited to see him. But I was just saying on my Snapchat, I still get a bit nervous to talk in front of groups but excited as well so I'm just gonna be sharing with the girls today quite a few things that have really changed my life in a really positive way and it helped me become a better person help me deal with more difficult situations help me break through barriers that I found were really holding me back my limiting beliefs so I think they're gonna get a lot out of it the last couple they've said it's just been life-changing so I'm really excited but yeah I still get nervous to talk in front of groups but I'm about to start. Nat's coming to watch me today, which makes me a little bit more nervous. I think it's really cute and supportive that she is coming to watch me. She's like, can I come? I was like, aww. But it does make me a bit more nervous. I don't know why. Um, and the only downfall with this weekend is having to say goodbye to Taj so much. And normally, like, if I leave for work for the day or if he's at daycare, it's just one goodbye. But I'm coming and going so much over the next four days, getting changed and getting ready for the next event or whatever. He doesn't quite understand why I'm coming and going and I find that really hard because he's just like you're going again why are you leaving me mummy like are you coming back and it's just for a three-year-old it's just a bit too much to try to understand but that's the only downfall of the weekend and I just miss him and Steve but I'm super excited for this weekend I just oh I love these it's only our third one so we've got another one in September which is booked out already and then another one in November which tickets go on sale Monday night to our squad girls so and then we're planning the reunion trip which is going to be in Bali early next year so oh that's gonna be so much fun I can't wait for that as well but anyways I better hit him because it is 8.23 and I start at 8.30, so I'll check in with you guys soon. moving and so beautiful I like it just brings up a lot I get emotional when talking about it but it's just such a beautiful safe place for these girls to really open up and support each other and you don't really understand it until you're here like if me telling you is kind of pointless but it's just incredible what this weekend brings together and what it can help these girls with and just even sitting back and watching Mora do her talk and watching what the girls are experiencing and feeling it is so special and I feel so proud so yeah I just had to share that because I was feeling it and I just think it's really really powerful and really beautiful We have finished our seminars for the morning. We have had a beautiful lunch and now we are off to Esme and Pony headquarters for a nice girly afternoon. We do facials. All the girls get to try all of the skin products. They get their makeup done. So they get to try the foundation, all the highlighters and bronzers and brows. My whole face is Pony Cosmetics and Esme today, of course. It's like my go-to makeup. Um, and then tonight, vision boards and dinner. 
I'm actually going home tonight because I'm going to be catching up with Nick and all the crew. They're coming around to our house for a barbecue. And that's going to bring little Georgie, so that'll be really cute. And then tomorrow morning, yoga, breakfast, more seminars, and then paddle boarding, hopefully, for the girls. If not, we've got another activity. And one of my favorite things of the whole thing is our picnic um, and ceremony we have. So it's just started raining now, but... um. Yeah, it's been a really nice morning so far and I do love this afternoon with the girls. It's just like a nice girly hangout session and who doesn't love face mask and skin products and big fruit platters and they get a glass of champagne. It's just a nice afternoon. As we were eating lunch, I went around at our table that we were sitting, sitting on and I said to the girls, um, you know, what was the favorite thing about this morning? And I liked what one of them said and she said it was getting an understanding of obviously being present with each other, but getting an understanding that we really all do feel the same on so many levels. We all have similar thoughts and similar judgments against ourselves or other peoples and we go through similar experiences and it really is nice to hear that and be in an environment where you can fully understand that because it just makes you not feel so alone. And I feel like there is a lot of deep connection when you're vulnerable. And I know a lot of you feel really connected with me when I'm vulnerable enough to share something difficult I've been through or something I'm experiencing because you're like, oh, she gets it. Like, I can relate to her. Oh, I think I forget in this car. <laughs> um, yeah, when someone shares something deep and personal and that's been a challenge for them, you do connect with them on a deeper level because it makes you feel like you're understood and no one wants to go through this journey of life feeling alone or feeling like no one understands what they're going through and disconnected so yeah it was really cool for her to say that i was like it's so true we all do go through so much similar things and so many people put on a front or they put on their instagram profile and just pretend that everyone's got their shit together in reality we all struggle and we all go through hard times it's so nice to be surrounded by a group of women who are vulnerable enough to be open and share and help each other through all of that and with obviously my help and Levi's help and all of our speakers we can help the girls break through some barriers and limiting beliefs that might be holding them back from them wanting to achieve the things that they want to achieve in life. been like hanging out with fashion so much fun yeah. she's so approachable like I got like a fangirl moment when she walked in I was like oh my gosh she's real she's not just someone behind a camera yeah I think like I was yeah. a bit nervous when I first spoke to her because I didn't really yeah. know yeah. what to say so, yeah like what to say I was kind of like like my mind went blank um but yeah she's just super lovely hey like 10 out of 10 yeah <laughs> This morning yeah. we did like all seminars in the morning. Um, we had three guest speakers. We had Ashley Levi and Moira Williams, who was I loved her. And, oh, breakfast yoga, yoga in the morning, and I then mean, our facials today, which are going to look a lot better than this. It's very surreal because you connect with her over the screen, um, but to meet her, it's like just such a surreal experience because. Yeah. You feel like you already have a connection with her and you already feel like you have a genuine connection with her and whoever you are you can just be that person. Um, yeah, so it's, I'm loving it. If your neck muscles are engaged, this will feel uncomfortable. So just let them go. That's it. So we're actually allowing all of that fresh blood that we've just brought into the body with our breath to come down to the brain.
Come to work with mummy. Oh, oh. Dyson. How do I do it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Come to work with mummy, Taj. What are you going to teach the girls? Um. Oh. How to be nice. Yeah. How to be healthy. Say no sugar. No sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to chat today predominantly about two things, hormones and stress. A lit night, water. Oh, okay, yep. Water. Yep. <laughs> Got to add lime with oh. it. <laughs> Good morning everyone, so I am just down at Service Paradise Beach, I'm a little bit early to go and pick the girls up, but today is my favourite day of the weekend, it's Byron Bay, it's just a day where I get to hang out with the girls, connect with them, just chat and go for a big walk, have a beautiful lunch. It is starting to spit here, so I am just keeping my fingers and toes crossed that it doesn't rain, because I really want to take the girls on this walk, it's really, really beautiful. Um, but if not, we'll work something out. It's just about hanging out today. And then we've got our last kind of final dinner tonight, which is always really nice. The girls have a couple of drinks and just celebrate the weekend. But then tomorrow we kind of wrap things up, a couple more seminars with Levi and myself, um, and then we all have to say goodbye. This weekend's actually gone by so quickly, like so quickly, which is sad. Um, but yeah, it's been beautiful. Last night was really, really nice. And I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. But let's go pick up the girls and head to Byron. Byron, are we excited? Yeah. Recky, are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> yes.
Hello, Taj. Hello. Mommy's got to go back to work soon. Why is she? Because she has to go and say goodbye to all the beautiful girls. Where is Mommy going to go, little one? Mommy's got to go out for dinner and celebrate a beautiful weekend. No. Yeah, and Mommy will see you tomorrow. Do you? Why? Why? Yeah. Because Mummy loves working and helping girls be healthy and happy. Mummy's feeds around the corner. Yep, Mummy always comes back, hey? Yeah. Do you miss Mummy when she's gone? Yeah. Does Daddy miss Mummy when she's gone? Can you do it again, Mummy? Hi. Hi, Taj. Tell me what you're feeling. Um, I'm feeling good. Are you feeling happy or sad? You want some to drink? Yes, please. But are you feeling happy or sad? I'm feeling happy. Good work. Daddy, are you feeling happy or sad? Very happy. Good evening everyone. So we are about to head into the casino. Well, I'm by myself. About to meet all the girls and Levi for our last dinner from the Ultimate Girls Weekend number three. I feel like I didn't vlog that much today. I just felt like I was really in the moment. I kind of forgot about my camera, which isn't like me, but it was a really nice day. The weather stayed really nice, thank goodness. It started to rain just as we were leaving the beach. So we did a beautiful big walk. We laid on the beach for a couple of hours, had a nice lunch, had a walk around the shops and then came back. Um, so yeah, it's been a really nice day. And I feel like after last night's ceremony, we feel a lot more connected and just I don't know, close. It's really special. So today was really fun. It's just my day to hang out with the girls. And tonight is our last celebr celebratory, is that a word? Celebratory dinner before tomorrow. We have to say goodbye to everyone. And just this, this one has gone so quickly. I can't even believe it. Um, but it's been really awesome. Just talking to a couple of the girls last night of the breakthroughs that they've had and the things they've learned and just, I don't know, a lot of thank yous, which has just really warmed my heart to know the impact myself and Levi and everyone else involved in our whole Ashley Bynes brand and the app and just everything we do. It's really, really lovely. So tonight we're going to be celebrating and then tomorrow we'll wrap everything up and chat about everything we've spoken about on the weekend and really set the girls on a plan for their future, which is sounds deep, but it is. We really don't like running seminars or these weekends just for inspiration. We like to give the girls tools and things to implement into their life straight away so they can make real change to live a happier lifestyle, a happier life and feel more fulfilled and to really believe in themselves and go hard on their dreams, whatever that may be. So that's what tomorrow is all about. And then, yeah, we say goodbye. Oh. And then the next one is booked out. That's in September. Crazy. And then we get to start planning. Well, Levi and I have already started planning the reunion, which will be held in Bali, which I'm so excited about. But anyways, I am... Not running late, but I'm just on time, so I better head in. I just want to say thank you to everyone for having such a wonderful weekend, and I'll thank you. Oh, absolutely beautiful, and I feel very blessed to have met you all. Aww. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop it there. So. <laughs> part has been just being given the opportunities to connect with so many amazing women that have like-minded goals. Having that bond formed so quickly has been probably the best part of the whole weekend. What was your Byron? For sure Byron Bay. I've never been there so I was like really excited. You know what I like? Rock climbing. Rock climbing. We were honestly a team. Yeah, we were. We, yeah. <laughs> you hadn't done it before. No. And I'd done a little bit, but it was so fun. I thought it was um, it was better than I thought, to be honest. Yeah, and it was that really was a good. Massive highlight. You did me. really well. Yeah. I was flying from the ceiling. <laughs> good. Um, okay, this is going to sound super cheesy, but I think rooming with you was like one of my biggest highlights. And obviously, forming relationships with Ashley and Levi and getting their expertise on things has been. Yeah, a massive highlight. Connecting with everybody, just taking the time to just listen and have a, like an actual conversation with people. 
For me, I think I learned how to start to get on top of those voices in my head that aren't really doing anything positive in my life and accepting that they're there and just getting past them. And something I learned would be that absolutely every person is going through something and it's really beautiful to see when you have a safe space and allow women the opportunity to open up and actually admit and release what is on their heart is beautiful and the connection that that forms afterwards is irreplaceable and we all just need to be able to find our soul sisters in our tribe and make sure we can find the connections like that. I would definitely recommend this to others because even people that aren't like, um, you know, really love Ashy and have followed her forever, it's still nice to come and like make friends with new people and um, yeah, just branch out. It's really good. 100%. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's really worth it. Um, you learn a lot, you experience a lot, you meet new people. So it's really good. The days were jam packed as well. Like yeah. We did so much. It was only four days, but it honestly feels like we've been here about two weeks. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It was really good. Definitely and I think, worth doing. And I think the kinds of people that take that plunge and go for this kind of thing um, are really cool people. And yeah. like you just yeah get to spend time with um, you know everyone. And, yeah, it's really, really cool. No, I got um, recommended to do this trip by other girls and it's just been, yeah, amazing. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> 100% recommend it. Do it. I don't know, but yes, 100% it's if you get the chance, come do to this it. event. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>girls get to try the brownie which they wouldn't have tried yet delish this is one that levi and i am obsessed with and we launched last week i will link it below if you guys want to grab some oh yum can't wait we've got no nut allergies here Thank you. good <laughs> Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
um, for all your talks and teaching us so much. <laughs> reason why I do everything I do is growing up I just there was so many times I got emotional where I felt alone I never wanted you girls to feel alone so it means a lot thank you I got our tattoos <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's like coming soon yeah <laughs> <laughs> How was the weekend, babe? So good. We had to say goodbye to all the girls today, though. So I can't believe we've done three ultimate girls' weekends away. But it was so cute. They got me this tomato plant to go with my lemon tree and the strawberry patches that we're going to do. They got me this beautiful bottle. Yeah. Da -da -da. And it's got a crystal oh, inside. Nice. And then Nat, one of the girls, got me this turmeric it's got. Turmeric, Himalayan salt, ginger, black pepper, and cinnamon. So I think it'll be really nice and sweet potato. And this cute little balance there. A beautiful big bunch of flowers. Mm. Kitchen is done. Wow. So I'm just going to open up some PR packages. And then I decided not to do a November Ultimate Girls Weekend away. I've got a lot of speaking events booked in towards the end of the year. I've got a lot of birthdays. It's just a busy time of year. And I worked out when I sat down over my schedule, I wouldn't have had a weekend with you and Taj. So I just decided not to do it. Um, just so I can try and maintain that balance of working, family, socialising, you know, so I don't exhaust myself. So I'm a little, oh I'm a little bit bummed, but I think I've made the right decision. And I've still got September one, and then we're planning the reunion for Bali either January or February. So it's really exciting. All the girls that have come to a previous event, we'll be meeting in Bali. So that's really exciting. But I think I might wrap up this vlog here because. The weekend's done now, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching along. A massive shout out to every single girl who did come along to this weekend. I do not take it lightly that you have spent the time with me over the weekend and Levi away from your family. Mommy! Yeah, darling? Here. Oh, it is frizzy! And <laughs> I appreciate that time I got to spend with you and appreciate the trust that you have in myself and my team to help you girls break through barriers and break through limiting beliefs and just find ways that you can live a more fulfilled, happy life and move through trauma and let go of things. Like there's so many amazing things that happen over that weekend. And I just, yeah, I feel really grateful that I got to be a part of that with every single one of you. So thank you so much to every girl that came along. Shout out to Levi, my psychic for the whole weekend. I'm so proud of you and so proud of what we do. Steve, I love you. <laughs> thank you for all of your support. And I'm really excited for the September one. But as always, we're running a weekly competition. So if you love this video to enter, all you need to do is give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and comment below your favorite bit about this video. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.